hello 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 welcome to my channel my name is Darcy and you know like I every day I have to start cleaning off my desk so I watched another live with Penny last night and this is what we made they are I'm gonna have to link her so you can see to make yourself see how she does it so basically it's a paper clip which was opened up and then twist it around. Let's see. Oh, here. This one doesn't have a flower on it yet. And then, you know, twist that and then put a flower on each side. So that way, when it's on a page, it's pretty on both sides. So that was one I made. And then, okay, you just have to be careful because I had to unglue. Where is it? One of these I had to unglue a little bit so I could fit it. I should have just glued it glue it near the top. That's the important part, I think. Okay, it helps if I put the leaf in there. There we go. So there's one side of the page and the other side of the page. And I did all my leaves a little bit different. These are kind of narrow. These are kind of squiggly. I think I might try to put a daisy on that one. And these were a little bit wider, and I used different paper for each one. That's what we made last night. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, she does a live at 8 o'clock central time which would be nine o'clock eastern time which would be what six p.m nine eight seven six six p.m pacific time tuesdays and thursdays and she does it from the facebook group which is junk journal buddies all right now i call my channel misadventures with mixed media because i do stuff using mixed media whether it's painting or paper, it's mostly paper. Just let's be honest, it's mostly paper. Um, I do a lot of, um, I'm a little bit addicted to dyeing paper. And the fact that I wanted paper when I was rinsing my hair out last night, can attest to that. I dyed my hair, let me see, let me see what color. Oh, I'm videoing. So, you know, don't say anything too embarrassing unless you really want to. Did you have a good walk? Yep. Any good stories to tell? We need stories. We need antidotes. Antidotes? We need antidotes. Anecdotes. <laughs> we need antidotes, too. Okay, my 24-year-old just got back from his walk, and he saw a lizard. That's the exciting news today. Just chilling in the water in the drain pipe. I watched Summer pull a uh, lizard out of the water on fathering autism. Let's see. We, I'm working on this still, my rainy day journal. So yesterday I made this, and that's not the color it was online because I'm there's no blue ink in my thing. And, and then this is paper I had painted and scanned. And since I had pink on the front, I figured I'd do that. And then right in there. What else did I do yesterday after I... Oh, I cut up my papers. For, oh, there we go. And there's this that I got out of a children's book. And I backed it with some paper. And I went ahead. I still got to figure out what I want to do for my top bit. Maybe a piece of fabric. Wouldn't that be so cute? And I cut these papers. Oh, and see, this was long, but I didn't want to cut it off because this is... So I, I put a little kitty on that part. And on the other one, too. He's so cute. And these are also... This is the last time I was running out of ink. The uh, the pink went out first. But this time, the blue went out first. I Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> I printed this one, and I printed this one. I guess that's why the blue went out first. All right. I think that I want to do this is, I think I have one in here. Um, I gotta make sure they're all at the top. They're not, I thought they were, but they're not. So that went up a little bit. And these are all papers that, they're not the scan, well, this front one is a scanned version. But the rest of them are all the original papers that I 
Yeah, because this one was just left over from when I cut for that. Oh, let's fold that up. Okay. All right. All right, I did see a meme this morning that made me laugh. Um, I've said before, I'm originally from Massachusetts. So I have friends on Facebook from Massachusetts, you know, obviously. Let's try this. Um, and the meme show, showed a picture of snow and a picture of a beautiful spring. And it's like every other year, spring in Massachusetts. And it was like quarantine year, spring in Massachusetts. And that was the one with the beautiful spring. And I, I did laugh at that a little bit. All right, so I stapled that, and then I'm going to find some paper. Oh, this would be perfect right here. I'll use this paper, I think. And then that will cover. That way I can at least cover this staple up here. Let's see. Do I have something with some blue in it? Actually, my mess up piece from yesterday might be pretty right there. What do we think? Because it does have a little bit of blue right there, and then it's also got the green and some pink. Oh, I think I'll do that. So I'm going to glue this into this, and I'm going to glue that onto that. And then this, I ended up just putting a piece of paper there that's a pocket. And then we've got our pocket here, and so I put, I did this as on the video yesterday, then I put that on, and then I added this pocket, which does fold in a little bit. So you still see the, the, oh my goodness, the manila envelope part. Alright, let's go ahead, and I know I didn't finish cleaning this up. I could just do that, but I like this. So we'll do that and then set it aside to dry. I'm gonna do this so it stays up in the I feel like a glue binding. I should have pressed those down a little bit. It's too late now. Um flatten those out just a little bit there all right so that's a little notepad that's going to go right in here because I did want to make this a little bit more I don't know I was watching something and I'm like oh I can make it like you know like those little grocery list to do pads from the top I don't have to do the binding in the middle I mean on the you know whoops it helps if you keep it straight when you're putting it in it really does. It was coming off the edge. It was yeah. so. Let's see. Anything happened interesting? No, I watched a live. I stayed home like I'm supposed to. My son goes for a walk every day, but he stays outside and doesn't go near people. And he comes home and I didn't hear you wash your hands. I did. He comes home and washes his hands. So that's all good. Ooh. For those of you that do, let's see, I know someone was like, I want any guest checks except ones that are green. So, you know, of course I had green ones. I ordered pink ones on Amazon. They do cost more, but you can get them at Amazon. And then at Staples, okay, see, I thought the blue ones were over there. That's why I was pulling them out. But I found blue ones that are like shorter at Staples. So if you all are looking for guest checks, I, I ordered the pink ones on Amazon. The green ones, yeah, those were at Walmart. You can find those anywhere. Let's see. It's too bad this pocket won't fit in here. I think it's too wide. Also, it's too green. <coughs> well, maybe it's not too wide. Let's see. And... Uh, you know what? 
I think I am going to put this pocket in here. This is uh, inspired by... Well, yeah, I did cut it. So the Pam at the Paper Outpost made a four pocket thing out of an envelope. And I kind of wanted to make it look a little bit more... Um, yeah, I wanted to try it with this, with the, the graph tape and the numbers and stuff. So I think I might put this in here. Let's see, is it going to... And then I have a place for small tags. I think these big tags are going to have to go in the... That one's not going to fit, no. Yeah, um, see, so far I made big stuff, but... I had those little tags I made yesterday. I wonder what happened to them. Oh, here's one. But, like... And then I think I... Yeah, I did. Um, these, I all, I glued them so they'd be short. This one's a little... Nope, that one's short, too. So these are all short little... Well, that should be a little longer than that. So they're all short um, pockets. So I'll need small stuff to put in there. So there's a little. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Put this pocket in here. I don't think I need to make it a third side pocket because you have that pocket there. So I will glue this whole thing down. Which is unusual for me. I usually will make it another pocket. If my Bambi pocket were not so wide, I could have put that in it. Well, but I already put my Bambi pocket in my idea journal. So let me pull that out real quick and I'll show it to you. It's on my Facebook group. If you have a picture of it in my Facebook group. Joel, you're talking to yourself. And he's coughing, but that's allergies. That happens every spring and every fall. And he hums to himself and he talks to himself. Let's see, this is my idea journal. Oh, I was, had an idea to use this. Um, these little things came in and I thought that'd be kind of a fun, sort of a belly band kind of a thing, but also a pocket. I don't know. And then you could also cut one like that. Let's see. And then there's these. I'm random. Sorry. I'm a little off. And these are more of the what I printed from the scanned um, paint things. And this was watercolor that I did that I printed on cardstock. But I need to clean my printer head. So if I don't do it on high quality, I get these lines. Which, if I put it like this and make this the journaling spot and cover the outside, that actually would be kind of cool. So, you know, you can make it work. And then these were another live with Pam. Um, except my background is a background that I didn't paint on physically. I actually did it online. So there's some of these tags. And this is a little um, index card. Which I've been wanting to see if this was the right... I don't think these are the right size, are they? Nope. I ordered these and they're not even the right... And I can't... I wish I... Uh, now I'm wishing it just had one because if it just had one, then I could... Well, I'm very disappointed that the whole purpose for me buying these was to be able to... Poke out my... That one's got three. That one's got four. Yeah. So I still don't have a way to do my journal, my, what are these? I'm going to have to do it the way I don't want to do it. Because of this I don't like, it's like messy, it's all. So I'll use a hole punch and cut up the things like other normal people do <laughs> that aren't perfectionist. So yeah, I sewed around the edges with some pink and back them with some tea dye paper and put a little bit of the stamping that I had done on the front on the back. And here's a pocket. So these are in my idea journal. I got sidetracked, sorry, we're looking for, ah. This is one of Pam at the Paper Outpost doing the circle tags. This is that Rita Donnelly flip that I stuck in there. And then I, this is a bigger pokey little puppy because I found this book that had extra pictures and it had black and white pictures and so the pic, full page pictures were like big and that was awesome. 
And then here, what I did is I turned the page in and glued it down, and then I cut the edge. So now I have this pocket here. So I said I do something, but that was what they ended up with, but I don't know if that's how they got it or not. And then I have this double pocket here for the saw one of Audrey Maze's pockets are kind of indented like this, and so I kind of ramped it up a little bit. And these are some of the tea dyed pages that I did, and this is my idea book that I made, and it does have a traveler style um, binding. I don't know where the middle is. Yeah, the middle. Yeah, there's the middle, and then I have the seams at the top. So here's a triple pocket ripped, which I probably got that idea from Pam at the Paper Outpost. And then I had gotten from the thrift store, came and it was these, which were these, which I just used to trace. And so I, I go ahead and I glue the paper on the tea dyed paper and trace it and cut it to get these cute bunnies. And you could do that with any animal. You could go ahead and find some silhouettes or some pictures of animals and print them out on cardstock. Um, I have a video where I did this. And that was before I realized that this stuff peels off. <laughs> so there's a couple of stamps I had made. And then this is a, a card, which we mini collaged. That's from one of my videos. Um, there was a rip on the bottom of this, so I actually have this page is wrapped around here, which reinforces that bottom, and then I have a double pocket there. I still have a lot of filling up to do in my idea journal. And then I have these at the top, so I can put a dangle in them and turn them into a bookmark if I want to. And I can, so I can remove these pages, so if I want to do any sewing, I can. If I end up too thick, I can. Here, I did the same thing as back there, but I made two pockets. And I may cover them, but that's something I wanted to remember that I did. And then this stemmed from one of Penny's lives. So it's one big thing. This was the top of, hey Joel, where's the box that had my, it's a gray box. Do you see it anywhere? The one that my hand towel's going. Mm -hmm. You see it? I saw it. I've seen it like five times, but no, can't find it right this second. If you see it, let me know. Anyway, you know those disposable hand towels that come in a box and you put them upside down on the um, towel rack so you pull out a towel? That's the cover from that, but a tissue box okay. would work as well. And then this was an envelope with a window. And I just used some acetate for that window. So there's... A tag there which is actually this was from a tissue box but I had to cut it down to make it fit and then I have a little notebook here it's a little collaged inside and a couple tickets that I made I actually have a ticket die coming from Aliexpress so that'll take forever and then one of the guest checks I tea dyed and I stuck a little piece of lace on the top Put a little bit of fabric there. It doesn't really show, so it's more for just writing on, I guess. But I had to fold it to fit it in there, the way I did that. And I can't show you the back of it. I'll do a tutorial on that someday, I think. But it's in there, my idea journal. If you see any of these things that you want me to show you. And then this a piece of paper, I fold it around the edge. So we have a pocket here pocket here and I made like a tab on the top there and these are some of the ones that I painted the originals that I painted as you can see and then I doodled on and then I I may just go ahead and scan those to do other things and then this is another one where I just did a little thing on the top so I might add a picture on the bottom or I'll do something to it eventually when I'm feeling inspired to do so and these I backed with um, copies of paintings, the paintings. These were acrylics, and then I also like reduced 
the uh, opacity on them and um, printed them and use those on the back. This one I actually call Lilac Crush, so it's perfect with the lilac. It's, it's a lilac. It's, it's not wisteria. <laughs> Somebody thought it was wisteria, but that's okay. I actually, I, I drew and colored this with marker while my brother was having surgery. So that's how my sister-in-law and I kept ourselves busy. We did some, some art and then I have a side pocket here. I had two other tags, but I gave them away to a couple ladies that were that had the had had the COVID. One of them has already recovered. Um, the other one we'll see. Hopefully, this is my friend's mom. And then these were from a master board. I haven't really done much with them, but they were nice and short to be able to stick in this. So I'd wanted to try this pocket that Pam did with an envelope. So you just kind of slice across here. I wanted to try it with a book page, but I was afraid of messing up a book page. Well, then my chair ran over this book page, and I also wanted to try um, distressing a shiny book page. So I sanded it this way and this way a little bit, and then I backed it with uh, paper, book, book page. So I actually don't even need the washi because backing it with the book page made it strong enough. And then I did the slits. Um, and I also, I think, yeah, I glued right here so that this pocket's shorter. And then I glued that onto this green page so that there was this pocket up here, too. And then the green page, I gl glued this side, this side, and this side to get a side pocket. Oh, he's so cute. I love him. So we have a side pocket, this top pocket. Oh, this is envelope on, um music paper not envelope napkin you will find that in an annoying way I am constantly saying the wrong words so this was a pocket that I made so it's in my idea journal and I'll and I you can be selective of where you want to do your cuts I did it I didn't want to cut off anybody's head so that's how I did that I think that's pretty much it this is a paper bag pocket so there's a pocket here there and a tuck because i got 500 of these for a dollar so i'm gonna do something with those if you have any um, other ideas of what to do with the little paper bags okay all that to show you this because i mentioned it and i thought i'd show it to you so if there's anything that i just showed you that you want to see how it's done like you can't find another video for it let me know i'll 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 I can show you. I just, I figure if it's already been done, why are you going to come see me? I don't know. A little piece of flower there. All right. I showed you that. I showed you Kitty. And let's see. She won't fit in here, will she? She's too tall. All oh, my pockets are too short. Oh, I could do that, but it'll block all the other pockets. But so we have all these big pockets for her. So we have our notebook here and now we need to make things to go in our little pocket what should we make what 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 indeed we could use that as part of the tag we could use one of this as part of the tag let's see that's too big i need ideas people i need inspiration to strike i need oh that could be a cute little tag popping out of there or here which would bring all the colors together a little bit oh sorry my hair got in the way again let's see <laughs> some ideas would be nice i think i might is that too much plaid maybe to put it there all right always trying to think always be thinking where's my other mini tag well mushrooms grow when it rains right so since these pockets are so small can we no no oh, that one sticks out a little bit that one's too deep maybe i'll have to do a little tiny maybe i'll just 
Oh, you can't see that. It's a little mushroom. Um, faux stamp that I made. Oh, here's the other one of these. There we go. I still gotta put these in Graham's journal. Oh. Let's be more random, because that's fun. Let's see. Before I forget, this is just playtime. I'm not. I don't stick to any one project. I apologize if that drives you crazy. <laughs> but, um, that's just who I am and how it is. Um, actually, I might put these over here. Let's see. They don't really stand out much on any of the pages but I wanted to do something I think we'll just put them over there maybe no that won't work let's try this Um, maybe not. Oh, you know what? There's some pink over here. And green is not going to cut it here. Got these at Target Valentine's Day. Time period. So if I kind of put that there, then that will stand out a little bit more. So I think that's what I'll do. Drives me crazy. Okay, uh, let's see. Well, you know, everyone, most everyone is pretty much on lockdown, so there's not really much to talk about, I guess. Art glitter glue. So I guess I could tell you things like kind of things I like to do in my free time. You know, besides crafting, maybe. Um, I like to watch. Uh, movies and TV shows that are mysteries. I like a lot of British TV. Currently, I'm watching actually a um, watching Mr. and Mrs. Murder, which is Australian. Probably should have waited for that to dry a little bit more. Do it now. And then I also, I mean, as much as I like to read, I also like to be able to do stuff while I'm reading. So I listen to a lot of audiobooks. Oh, which reminds me, Joel, when the libraries open back up, you need to renew your library card because I can't listen to books on your account because your library card is expired. I use my account, my husband's account, and my son's account. But fortunately, Hoopla, Hoopla has um, increased their borrows right now. So if you have a library card and you have a phone where you can get an app, I totally suggest Hoopla. Sign up with your library and you can borrow games, not games, movies, music, books to read on your phone or books to listen to on your phone. Oh, I could have gone over it, but... And, um, yeah. Now the pink doesn't necessarily go with the rest of the book, but it does go with that page over there. Let me see if the second part of the book has any pink this won't work just to uh bring it into the no oh well just one pink doily will work it makes sense on that page i guess all right still working on the quote finished journal because <laughs> i'm extra i haven't started my mother-in-law's journal hers is going to be one well, I was going to do a small one for her, but I think, or I might do one like this for her, because she does a lot of, you know, lists and stuff. We'll see. But I really wanted to do a one with red fabric for her. I keep ordering fabric. I think I'm going to just, 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 I don't know what to do with this. Well, 
to make this just a little in case I want to stick something in there I'm gonna just make it a little tuck a little tiny tuck I should have put a little I'm not good with layering everyone does all the layering and the words and the sentiments oh I do have a sentiment I do have a sentiment all right, these are smaller ones, which I like. These ones I got at, well, I got them at the thrift store, but they're actually doilies for food. They're food doilies. So if you're tired of getting just the same doilies all the time at, at, the, at the dollar store, check out your cake decorating section. Oh, I still got to figure out how to... Oh, maybe this will fit in one of these pockets. Let's see. So, I don't have a lot of rain boots in here, but she's the one that has, like, the rain boot stamps and stuff. So, maybe she will add some of her own touches in here of, like, her rainbow stamps and stuff. Is this longer? Does this stick out the top? Of yes, it does stick out the top. Right. Oh, it kind of fits in there. Yeah, I don't makes it really thick and bulky though so yeah I want to put something else there what do we have I know I have some plain tags here that one is plain that one is small can it work like that I guess it could I could what well, works as a nice background for that has to at least go in that one. Where'd that this? Why is that as a, a background up there? That one's too tall. Oh, I think I wanted to put let's see. Oops. I may stick a frog and toad in here. And I wanted to put one of the lassie ones in here. But maybe the smaller lassie. I wish I knew a little bit. You think I would know more about my aunt, but no. Oh, just random. There's a bookmark I made with dragon scales. And um, I'll have to show you how I do that in the back. It involves a toothbrush if that helps. Nope, train I save for save trains for my tutor books. Um do I have any she does like the vintage stuff. Let's see if I can find with that one I printed though, Southern Stores. It's got some paint on it there. Um, 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 um. Alright, let's see. We have a blue stamp, although it's a guy, but it's blue and I have a lot of blue in here and a rose stamp and this has the right colors too maybe I can kind of I don't know mm -mm -mm -mm. I could do a raggedy edge I mean it's not gonna be very raggedy because I have a punch for that <laughs> key Mm -hmm. Well, let's see how are we doing on time. Oh, we're almost done because my 4G stopped around 38 minutes. So, let's see. This is a one coupon, B and W coupon. Rally. Oh, oh wait, and Belair cigarettes. I don't know. We won't do that one. It took my grandma a long time to put something. Not really into the cigarette ephemera uh, i tried this one you know there was no blue so i tried watercolor and it was not a win for me okay where this is why y'all should be more organized than me where's my winnie the pooh hey pooh where'd you go i had you yesterday i watched it on the video where i had you 
Oh. Well, between my time being up and not being able to find what I'm looking for, because I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Alright, this is kind of a fun little belly band. It was actually on some cards, and because it's shiny paper, it just kind of looks more like little water drops, I think. I think it'd be kind of fun as an actual... No, it's too big. But, you know, that might be a good type of closure, maybe. If it can come off and on easy enough. It might be cute, but... We need to be elasticated. Still considering the... Alright, stuff's falling out. Let's see. Let's get the rose... Um, is there any pla plain areas on here that I want to spruce up a little? I don't know. Alright. Well, is Frog and Toad too wide? Nope. Frog and Toad fit. I'm not gonna, I don't want to cover up these book pages. I just like them too much. Plus, it would make it way too bulky anyway. So, let's put him. That's a little better. I might glue this here. And then I can cut off the bottom a little bit. Oh, look. It's already... It already tells me it wants to be cut because the scallop broke. There we go. Then we can have it stick up just the right amount. All right, let's do that. This is just decorative. Let's see if I can get some glue on these scallops so they don't all break off. Because they are delicate, apparently. That look centered pretty much? Pretty straight? And that hopefully brings all the green, blue, and pink together a little bit. And um, also glues my hand up nicely. So this is where we are right now with the... Really shouldn't have cut off those pockets. It's kind of upsetting me now. This one's a little shorter. It was. Wait, is that the one that's a little short? One of these is a little bit shorter. There we go. I should cut that off. I'm sorry. My personal opinion is people that say they like that look are too lazy to cut them off. <laughs> Not lazy. They just don't want to be bothered. There. Now that shows. Them the, eh. Or they have glue on their fingers and they just... It's not going to happen. Alright. Let's... How are we on... No, we're probably done. All right. Thank you for joining me. Have a delightful day, everybody. I hope this didn't cut off before I said goodbye. See you next time.